Well, good morning. I'm Tom Butler. We continue following a developing situation in Minneapolis as police are working to clear an encampment at the Quarry Shopping Center. The large police presence drawing outrage from some people on scene. Bill Keller joins us now live this morning with the very latest and what's going on there right now. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Tom. In fact, they are still working to clear this tent city that has been here for more than a year. In fact, after weeks of trying to help relocate those living here earlier this morning, the city of Minneapolis made good on its promise to close this encampment. Early this morning, dozens of squad cars escorted members of the city's homeless response team, including a caravan of trucks and public works vehicles. In fact, several hours, crews have been using front loaders to remove everything from city owned from the city owned property that is adjacent to that quarry shopping center. Now crews continue to remove all those personal belongings in the encampment. In fact, an onlooker sat stunned, calling it a waste of resources, filling up trucks and dumpsters with everything that those living here have amassed from bikes and tents and boxes to grills and furniture. The city, along with Hennepin County, says they tried to connect these residents uh, of this encampment to indoor shelter space, even storage options for their belongings, but the city said they all declined. Everyone needs a place to live, right? And this is a community. We are a community. They weren't doing anything wrong. No one was disturbing them. They weren't disturbing anybody, especially right now when it's cold. Where are they going to go? All their stuff's getting put in a dumpster. It just breaks my heart. Yeah, the city had set the date of uh, December 28th as a deadline to vacate, but the city then canceled plans to close the encampment over concerns. There would be a violent confrontation with city staff. Tom, homeless encampments are illegal in Minnesota. I should say in Minneapolis because the city says they pose a significant safety risk to unsheltered people in surrounding communities. Uh, they cite multiple fires, miners living on the site, and of course the cold winter weather as the, the city's decision to move ahead with this morning's closure, which so far has gone smoothly. Back to you. All right, Bill Keller reporting live for us from Minneapolis. Bill, thank you.